beat the horn. Is it okay if we accelerate rapidly, but safely? All right, good. Hey guys, Rich with Rich Rebuilds here, and today I went to my buddy Chris from EV Tuning Solutions Open House, and I saw my very first Model 3. Yes, that's right. The goofy looking frog car that I've only seen in pictures, I actually get to see one in real life, and not only sit in it, but also drive in it and put it up against my older P85 in a quick heads up drag race. Now remember a year ago I made a video on the Model 3 that was strictly just speculation as the Model 3 hadn't been released as yet. Well I finally get to walk around one and I'm just going to talk briefly on what my thoughts are on the car so far. I can tell you from the outside right now this car takes major styling cues from the Model S. The C pillars are similar, the chrome trim that flows around the windows is similar, and the side view mirrors are almost identical. Not only that, but the taillights are similar to the Model X in styling, which is not necessarily a bad thing. The best way I could describe this car is like a remixed Model S, and thank God they got rid of the auto present doors from the S. These are simple, and they just work. Well, the interior is very, how do I put this, concept car from the 80s. It's very simple, and I'll tell you one thing right now, if this was the interior of any other car manufacturer, they'd be labeled as having the most bland interior ever. I think Tesla is one of the only companies that could pull this off. Now, I'm gonna check out the UI on the screen, and it's actually very fast compared to my Model S. It's much faster, more responsive, and I'm just checking out the menus here, and there's a lot more going on in the screen than my Model S, because Tesla decided to combine the instrument cluster with the center display. So I'm just poking through the UI to see what's different about my Tesla. It's very similar, and it looks like there's no physical buttons for the glove box either, which I guess makes sense because they didn't really put a place for buttons anywhere on the dash of this car. Now the center screen itself turns out it's fixed, which I did not know. It doesn't adjust up or down. It's definitely something to get used to for sure. It doesn't even go up at all. So I'm wondering if you're super tall, you're and you're ready to hit the top, like how is that going to look? I mean, they probably designed it so it's safe viewing for all this angles. Fixed, right? Yeah, it's fixed, yeah, it's a fixed room. And it, this is that new AC technology, right? The right, vents. exactly. This is the new vents, the touchless vents. But it's kind of interesting because like, let's just say that you want to right adjust. Like, okay, uh, I'm sick of this. I want it on my face right now. How do you yeah. do it? Let me see you do it. Figure it out. I want the vents on my face. There you go. That'd be the center, right? I'm assuming. I, I, I'm not really sure what I'm even looking at. Oh shit! Yeah. All right. I don't know. Like, like that, I'm assuming this is the line. What is that? This is the line that's that represents the the HVAC, and then that's just spraying it up. Oh, there you go. Now you can you can definitely feel it. Gotcha. Oh no, I, we just wanted to figure out the um, how, how you figure out where the where the, air, the airflow goes. So we're trying to, I'm just doing a test as to yeah. how intuitive it is because the first time I'm using this this, yeah, uh, this UI. Yeah. So now, like I just asked him, I said, you know what, I want you to figure out from scratch, how do I point the vents towards like my face? And then he found it within about, almost maybe like 10 seconds or so? Yeah, two clicks. I mean, I took the risk of touching auto, right? right. Uh, well, that's because- the... You can turn the fan up a little bit more just to make it more dramatic. Right. The vent does feel much better than our car. I'm happy it's, like it's like a Dyson fan. That's what it feels like. It feels like a Dyson fan. Yeah. So, so, so exactly. what is this? As you shut your door, it's more... It's shot stronger, yeah. yeah. So what is this? Uh, so these two sides represent each side, yep. uh, you know, to the left and right of the main screen, right? So this is my side, yep. and that's, that's that side. So Tesla, what are you doing here? This is cool, but I got to think about this. If I were to buy one of these for my mom, she'd look at me and say to herself, why do I have to touch these circles and pinch and zoom them in order to get heat on my face? But that's another story. I don't want to go too deep into this car just yet. It's supposed to be a brief overview. Did you have the Model S before this? I did not, but I'm pretty familiar. Yeah, so <laughs> that's funny. Keep, do it again a couple of times. <laughs> that's funny how it says that. It has a close, sensor in it. Close, close my mind. gently. <laughs> what, what, is the, what is the purpose of... Well, it just oh, that. tells you to close it gently. You can either open it by pushing it, or you can uh, open it by pushing here, or you right. can open it by pulling it. Um, but then, you know, people will be like, oh, what There's the hell? There's a sensor, what and it says, oh, hey, relax, buddy. Yeah, close it gently. <laughs> but just the fact that they put a sensor in it blew right. my mind. Yeah, I mean, that's just one more damn thing. To go wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, well, can they just make it where you just, it only push, opens when you push? 
Oh, it does. It's no. just. But well, you can also do that. Yeah, you can. You, it'll but, open you know what? But, but that is, but that is a nice touch. It's a cool touch. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. a cool yeah, like. Uh, kind of breaks, you just I bet you the there was a, such a. By that time, you know how to use it. <laughs> there was such a small amount of dollars that went into that, but the cool factor was there. The cool factor is like times ten, and even if that breaks, it doesn't really matter because no. it's like, oh, it doesn't tell me if I'm pushing it too hard. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't really matter. Agreed. Do you mind if we just take it around this no, way? No, no, go ahead, take it for a ride. Yeah, I was yeah, oh. oh, no, no. Trust you guys. Yeah, we're not going anywhere. <laughs> just in case, I haven't done this, so yeah. just in case it gets locked out, this is the actual card. You need to put it on the center console. Because it works off of my phone, but I'm keeping my phone. Oh, right here? So, yeah, just lay that there, if it asks you for it. Gotcha. Cool. Cool, man. He trusts, that's his first mistake, is trusting us. So, so you're in drive now. Yeah. Right. So now, yeah, I guess just go. Oh, he doesn't have creep on. Ah, uh, yeah, I don't have creep on either. Oh, I like it. Maybe it's because I never grew up driving manual. Oh man, that regen. Is it stronger than your S? Feels a little stronger. Yeah. It's stronger. For sure. Gotcha. Especially at that slow speed. Then again, I also have the 22s on, and they're very yeah. heavy. Right. Shall we? Open her up. Uh, or what, I guess go for it. Okay. Well, I guess well, should we ask him? Yeah, we should. Yeah, we'll scrub a little bit. Beat the horn. Is it okay if we accelerate rapidly but safely? All right, good. There's no launch mode in this, right? I don't think so. No. This this is this a rear wheel drive car? I'm pretty sure. Ready? So yeah, ready? Go for it. Oh wow. Wow. I felt pretty uh pretty peppy. That's yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty that's, damn good. That's pretty good. That's too much for mama. Hey, you know what? Too much for mama. You know what I'm thinking to myself? I wonder how it would do against a P85. Yours? Yeah. Uh, you want to find out? We should, we should find out. You should find out. Again, the exterior of this car is kind of growing on me a little bit. It's styled very nicely. The interior will take a lot to get used to, but I think it's simple and functional. However, I'm terrified if something were to happen to that screen. I mean, without it, you're kind of toast. In a Model S, you could at least put a huge crack in the main screen, and you still have manual buttons to put the car in drive and park, and you still have your instrument cluster directly in front of you for basic vehicle information such as speed. This one, not so much. But hey, I still think the car is cool. I probably won't spend 60 k on this car as it sits, but this is definitely a thirty-five dollars to $40,000 car for me. And if I had the means, I'd probably give one of these to my kids and a P100D for myself. But the reason why I find this car so interesting is because you are definitely looking at the second generation Tesla Model S right now. Yes, the underpinnings of this car, the new technology, the electronics, DC drive motors, I'm pretty sure are going to make it into the next generation Model S at some point. So that's something that I'm very interested to see, but for the meantime, I think I'd like to try to get rid of the goofy frog look of these cars. I really want to get my hands on one to customize it, make it look a bit more aggressive, maybe some new rims, lower it, leather interior, etc, etc, etc. Can you even make these cars cool? Well, again, Rich has some tricks up his sleeve, so stay tuned for that. But before I head out, I want to see how my 6-year-old Model S does against a 2-week-old Model 3. Yes, this is the point of this video. The Model 3 felt quick, and we're going to go do a quick acceleration test to see which one would win. So what are, what are your thoughts? What are you thinking? I'm you thinking think, you, 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 you're going to take it? I do to give myself an advantage, but I don't think of anything I can do, like standing on the brake and giving it gas or short field takeoff in an airplane. It's, all, it's, it's your that call. stuff applies. It's just punch the throttle Right. And go. You just punch it and go. Yeah. Sad. You're sad? Model S now. Oh. No, I'm kidding. Trade it in. I wasn't able to purge my nitrous, that's the reason he won. Oh. <laughs> you didn't let the turbo spool up? Yeah. Oh man. Alright, it's all you. As you can see, the Model 3 did lose by a decent amount, even with this quick sprint. The P85 kept pulling away harder and harder. Unfortunately, we were only to get one run in. 
but I felt the traction control kicking in on the P85 and it definitely wanted to go even faster. Now the P85 dynos around 440 horsepower or so and the Model 3 has been ranging anywhere from the 350 mark to about the 390 horsepower mark. But the torque is another story. We'll still need an accurate torque reading from both cars, but I'm willing to bet that my old P85 still puts down more torque than the 3. Either way, this race isn't over as yet. I think the Model 3 is cool, and I think Dolores needs a little brother to beat up on. Expect some more Model 3 content coming very soon. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, guys. I'll see you all shortly.